Hi folks, Max from GalaxyS2Root.com. It's that time of the week again, ROM of the week. Um, since I have so many phones, I might start doing ROM every two weeks or maybe once a month. Uh, plus the ROM development has slowed down a little bit for the S2, obviously because it is gaining a little bit of age. Uh, but let's do this. I found a really good ROM for this week for you for the T-Mobile Galaxy S2. This is the DU ROM. It stands for Dirty Unicorns. And I've uh, doged it out. It's so awesome. So much wow. As you can see, I've got a nice uh, doge there. Doge there. And I've got uh, lock screen notifications. And my favorite doge. And I've got sh my favorite shortcuts there. Looking very good. This is an Android 4.4.2 uh, ROM, obviously. It is an Android. Uh, it is actually ported off the other Galaxy S2. I think the... Um, what is that? The other Galaxy S2. Anyway, um, it is a very nice ROM. It works flawless out of the box. 4.4.2. It is really fast. There's actually no overclocking on this one, uh, but I find it is actually faster than most of the other uh, AOSP ROMs I've been trying lately. I really like it. Um, dark UI. You can make everything dark. Let me go ahead and I'll go over some of the stuff here. Dirty tweaks. Um, dirty Unicorn ROM has these dirty tweaks. Actually, it's got like a ton. Uh, let me go over some of those cool ones. This is where I have chose my custom image for my drop down there so you can put your favorite uh, photo of your dog. <laughs> uh, very nice stuff. Lock screen shortcuts. You can go ahead and set your shortcuts here. Uh, theme options. This is where you can change the wallpaper. So I've got my Doge wallpaper so I can turn my phone into Doge phone. Um, miscellaneous tweaks. Slider torch, allow rotation. Uh, these are both great stuff. Um, you can go ahead and hold down the lock screen. Oh, maybe not. Um, but it does rotate. It does rotate. It sort of messes up my Doge uh, photo there. And slider torch should be working. I'm not sure. Let me try that again. Ah. Yeah, maybe that's one bug I found there, uh, but not a huge deal there. Let's go ahead and keep looking at some of the stuff. Power menu, it does have screenshots, screen recording, um, so you'll be able to find those there. Very nice. And app bar, um, this is great. I'll show you here. If I slide from the left at the top there, I can access all my apps there. Now, here's my suggestion if you're going to do this. Um, you can set all your favorite apps. Make sure you hit save. You can also scroll all the way down, so this is very nice. Sort of having like a uh, like a Windows computer inside your Android. Um, trigger width. Make sure you make the width big enough, and then you can test it out like this. And also the position of uh, position and height. Make the height smaller. Put it in an area where we're not going to touch it. If you put it down here, it's going to mess up. Uh, it's going to actually show when you use a keyboard. If you put it in the middle here it's going to get in the way. So I put it up at the top half there so it won't get in the way. And that way it's very useful. If I need to access my apps, I'll just go up here and slide out like that. So very nice stuff. And let's go look at some of the other stuff you can do. Battery clock date. Um, that's where I change my battery icon, my clock, center clock, all that good stuff. Uh, you can do that all here. And you can even get custom carrier labels. Um, status bar color. You've noticed uh, I've switched my bar status bar color to slightly dark green there. So you can do that. Um, kind of makes, you can put your favorite color there. Traffic indicator, uh, it will show up here. You can go ahead and enable that there. Uh, navigation bar, soft navigation bar. Animations, uh, this is nice. Um, you probably noticed this is actually an animation, custom animation I set here system animation and also there's a bunch of preset animations you can set like if you want Xylon animations um, stuff like that quick settings recent driving mode um, I'm not gonna go over all of this but uh, active display gesture anywhere identicons omni switch halo custom progress bar um, so you will pretty much find every single AOSP tweak you'll be able to see here Kernel Tweaker, I wouldn't m uh, mess with it much because this, this one doesn't have overclocking. Uh, but overall, very, very nice. And it says Beats Audio here, which is pretty much DSP. It's actually Viper for Android. 
and go ahead and install that. I have a full tutorial guide on that uh, emoji keyboard. There you go, for those of you into that stuff. Um, so very nice stuff. Uh, overall, I really like it. It is a very fast ROM. And also, make sure you choose the MX camera, uh, camera MX when you're installing in the Roma installer. Um, the Google camera just kind of sucks on this phone. So definitely check that out. Uh, but overall, very nice ROM. Love this ROM. Definitely check it out um, You know, for this week's ROM, for the T-Mobile Galaxy S2. Love it. And I'm sure you guys will love it. And don't forget to tell me what you think of it. And I will see you guys soon. As always, if you have a Galaxy S2, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxyst2root.com. And I will see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android. Yeah.